Okay, this is my Poulon Pro engine test stand. This is pretty much what I was going for when thinking about this. A shortened lawn tractor that will still be portable. You can pretty much bolt any engine into it and test it. Right now, it's ready for paint. I got to let it dry though. I just finished pressure washing it. Got the years of dirt and grime off this machine. The original engine that was in this machine had blown up. So there's a lot of dirt and grime that comes from that. The hoops and casings have all been washed up fairly decently. I might try and find a set of four yellow center caps. We'll see. But like I've said in previous videos, if and when I ever need these, they come off of this first and I use them. And I'll just put another set back on here to keep this mobile. I don't want to take all of them off of this and this have this just sit on the dirt. I put a bit of time into this. I want to keep make this last. And I want to keep it looking fairly decent. So the, so the plan is let it dry, paint the underside, uh, do at least two coats on the underside, one to cover up any imperfections, the second one just to go back over, let it sit and dry on its uh, casings, then let it sit for about 12 hours, wash it, then paint the top side and then let it sit for about two or three days total to cure that should be good i'm not removing any of the labels like i said i'm not going for perfection on this i'm just going to paint right over everything i've already drilled the holes on this side right here for the gas tank i'm using the gas tank from that uh, briggs and stratton engine the very first engine that will actually be tested in this will be that briggs 11 horsepower engine as you can see, the rear axle is in place. I might still in the future do a little bit more trimming on that, but where it is right now, it doesn't matter. There's no axle keys on the casings, so we are good. It will continuously spin no matter what. So really, I don't have to do anything else with that. I might make a plate eventually for the back here just to hide it and make it look a little bit better on the back to hide the ugliness of the rear end. I do have a few plates, so in the future I might end up doing that. We'll see. But really, it's no there's no need to do it. This is just a engine test stand. That yes, it does kind of look like a lawn tractor, but it is no longer a lawn tractor. So all the wiring's pulled, all the cables are pulled. This is ready for paint. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.